Today, let's start by making some stickers for you to self-promote. Alright, let's start by making sure we have our Onyx up and running with our cut server. Now let's open some files that we know already have cut lines on them already. Will those take a second to load? Let us take a look at the cut server. Here we have our printed jobs listed that have had cut lines in them. Their jobs can be listed by name, file, size, media, or date. This section can be expanded if need be. We will double click on the job or right click it to open job properties. This is so we can make sure our cut lines are usable and to resize the graphic. Let's start with resizing the job to five inches wide to fit our media. Then you will have to add the cutter where it says Contour Cutter Selection. This will be a drop-down menu with a bunch of different cutters listed. All you have to do is look for your cutter's name. For example, the FC9000 is the cutter I will be using in this video. Once you have selected the cutter, you can check to see if your cut lines show up in the preview above the OK button. If they appear magenta, then you should be good to hit OK. Now you will see me change the other three graphics as well, doing the same thing as we just did to them, but sped up. Once we are done with the sizing and double checking our graphics have cut lines, we will go to the right to the gear icon that says placement next to it. Click that gear icon to pop up the placement strategy conserve media window. This window is where it can change the layout of your prints and the distance or location of the print on the media under general in this window. Options section is where you determine how you want all the prints to fit together in your cutter marks as well as the spacing between the prints. Once you have made your changes as needed, press OK and the placement window will close. Now we will check that we have to correct sized media listed that is currently listed in your printer. Once you have made sure the sizing is correct, you are ready to print. Hit print. Just remember to have the cut server window up before you hit print. Before you start to cut your print, you want to make sure you have at least two or three inches in front of the barcode and in the back of the barcode. This is to ensure your cutter will not have any issues reading the media that you load. You want to make sure you cut as straight as you can. As you can see in the video, I have added arrows with the words printed out this way just for this video example. Before you close the media lever in the back right hand corner of the cutter, Make sure you have the right side of the printed media aligned with the white markers on the right front face of the cutter. The reasoning for this is to make sure your printed media do not go askew. Well, the printer reads the sheet and the cut lines. Now on the cutter hit sheet, since we have loaded a smaller printed media into the cutter, the cutter will scan the printed media. It will place the cut tool in the top right hand corner of the sheet. You will not have the put the cutting tool or the blue tip of the blade holder in the 90 degree corner closest to you as seen in the video. You will do this by using your direction pad on the cutter display. You will now be able to change the conditions of the cutter if need be. S is for speed and F is for force as a reminder. Let's hop back over to the computer and check our cut server. Now you can see the cut lines and the layout of our cut lines. In this graphic, the cut lines are currently set to cut the perforated cut first and the kiss cut second. We do not want that to happen because the order should be reversed. In order to do this, all we have to do is drag and drop the cut contour kiss line above the cut contour perf line as you see in the video. 
Once this is done, we will unselect the cut contour perf line to only cut the cut contour kiss line. We are only doing this at this time because this is an instructional video. Once you have the hang of the cutter, you will be able to run both and pause and change your conditions on the cutter as well. So let's hit cut and watch the cutter scan all four corners of the cut box before cutting. When the cutter is done cutting, it will place the cutting tool at the bottom right 90 degree marker. Then we will reset to the 90 degree marker and change our conditions for force to perforate, cut the printed media. Once you have changed the condition force 28, you can go back to the computer, unselect the cut contour kiss line and reselect the cut contour perf line. Now you will be able to hit cut and the cutter will start scanning. As you can see, it may pull a little of the printed media that has already been cut but not damage your prints. The cutter has simply pulled the border of the kiss cutoff. Now that the cutter is done, you will be able to pop these prints right out if they have not already fallen out. That is how you print and cut stickers.